A new startup, Nix Devices, has developed a new way to monitor sleep at home with a nightshirt embedded with fabric electronics. So the first thing that we did is we came up with a summer sleep shirt. Uh, we found that we could actually gauge the quality of your sleep using only your respiration. So we wanted to come up with really thin, comfortable respiration sensors that we could mount on a shirt that a patient could wear. Um, and so what we have is um, our sensor pads, and these are capacitive plates that were attached to the shirt. They're made out of a heat press vinyl, so we can basically attach them to any type of shirt, any kind of cotton fabric. Um, and we have one on the front, you can see here on the side. We have another one on the, on the back on the other side. So as you roll over um, in the night, we can still keep measuring your sleep. And so as, as you breathe, the, thir the shirt stretches a little bit, and we record that change in capacitance. And then the other aspect of, of the actual device is our data recorder. And this slots into a small pocket on the back of the shirt, um, kind of down by the hip, so it's, it's still comfortable. And with this, we can record somewhere between two and five nights worth of sleep data, depending on how long you're sleeping throughout the night. There's no on switch on the shirt or the device. You simply plug it in and it starts recording as soon as you start sleeping. And then once you have the actual respiration data, you take the data recorder and you put it onto the base station that we have. And this uploads all of your data onto our website. Unlike standard methods for monitoring sleep, which measure electrical activity from the brain and muscles, the Somnus shirt determines the wearer's phase of sleep by the pattern of breathing. Deep sleep is accompanied by regular breathing, while breathing during REM sleep, when we dream, is much more varied. I've actually learned a lot about my sleep, and the thing that I've learned the most I think is just how curious I actually am. Um, I'm a at least I thought I was a really good sleeper. It doesn't usually take me very long to fall asleep, and usually I don't remember anything throughout the night. Um, so I think I'm a pretty good sleeper, but after I started to wear the shirt more, I realized that there's a lot going on with my sleep that I never even thought about. Um, I think the best example, actually, is there's a couple times we were traveling, uh, we were going to a couple different conferences, and we were in a hotel room, and I had the actual, I put the TV on, on a sleep timer which is something I do every once in a while. If, I'm, if I want to, I'll put, I'll put the TV on a sleep timer. And I put the, the sleep timer on for 30 minutes, and then I didn't even think twice about it. I fell asleep immediately, and I don't remember anything. In the morning, I'm, I woke up just fine. But when I looked at my data, it actually showed that for those 30 minutes that the TV was on, uh, I was in the lightest sleep that I've ever been in. Um, it was almost like I was awake. I was definitely asleep, but it was almost like I was awake. And then at exactly 30 minutes, right when the TV went off. There's a little blip in my data. You can clearly see me wake up before I start actually going into deep sleep. Along with the shirt, the company plans to develop an online sleep journal that will help users examine how different variables affect their sleep. We want to be able to have the user take this and with their sleep be able to log events that happen throughout the night, see, ask them questions, see are you drinking a cup of coffee every day? Do you drink it at 6 p.m.? or how many uh, sodas do you drink? Do you drink a Coke every night? And adding that information in to the sleep, sleep graphs that we're coming up with, you can get a much better picture of what's actually going on with the person's sleep. And, and this is not simply a curiosity of, uh, uh, of daily life. This is actually a fundamental problem in taking care of patients who come in with sleep complaints because we decide entire diagnosis and management systems based on what they say. And if their perception of sleep is not uh, matching their objective physiology, we have no way of, of knowing that actually currently. There, but there are no approved uh, ways of monitoring sleep in the home. And, uh, and, and what we do know from actually measuring people in the lab is that the average normal person will wake up for at least 15 seconds about 30 times a night or more and not remember any of them, maybe two. So if a person comes in and says, I wake up three times a night, you know, I have insomnia, uh, I say, well, there's probably another 30 that you don't remember. It's okay. You know, don't don't worry about that. And, and everything in between, a large spectrum of, uh, of misperception, just a ton, for people to self-discover what's the right sleep hygiene for them. This is a tool to, to help them with that because we're we're looking for ways to avoid uh, medicines essentially. Uh, and this is this fits into that niche. Nix estimates the shirt will cost less than a hundred dollars and be available by summer of 2012.